Hey guys, it's Richard from DiabloTutorials.com. This is the third tutorial in a four part series aimed at teaching you everything you need to know about how to start and perfect your two low shuffle so that you can be ready to do two correction and two low tricks. I suggest watching this series of videos from start to finish so that you're fully aware of all the skills required as well as the problems associated with doing too low. A large part of learning too low is watching and understanding the timing of the Diablo shuffle. Therefore, we'll spend a good amount of time focusing on this timing. If you want to learn about how to start two Diablos, either with an assistant or on your own, or to do correction, click on the appropriate links. However, I highly recommend watching each tutorial in order so that you fully understand and can master all of the very important basic techniques. If you haven't already watched part one and two of this tutorial series, I suggest going there now. Part one will show you how to start the shuffle with some assistance and how to use your left hand to keep it going. And part two will cover how to start the shuffle on your own. This is a must if you want to be able to progress further with your too low. One of the most important phases in your too low progression will be to incorporate your right hand to drive the shuffle. If you don't do this, the shuffle will always be slightly out of time and it's much harder to do tricks and correct the Diablos. Therefore, you should dedicate a good amount of time to make sure your right hand is working as much as the left. Watch how the right hand forces the Diablo down along the string. This makes it easy to keep the shuffle going and will give you greater control over the timing. In this example, only the right hand is driving and the left hand is hardly doing anything. While this isn't the desired way to run your shuffle, it's a good example of how important the right hand drive is to keep the Diablos going. This Diabloist is really focusing on driving with the right hand, and as a result, the shuffle is very large and slower than normal. This Diablos is still working to bring his right hand into play with the shuffle. However, he's only using his left hand to lift. The result is that it's harder to keep the timing and the shuffle pattern isn't clean. Keep the shuffle going using your left hand lifts. Once there's enough speed on both Diablos, stop moving both hands for about one to two seconds. Feel the timing of the Diablos, then begin driving with your right hand. This can be a difficult skill to learn, so keep practicing. Some Diabloists find it easier if they move their shuffle to the left. This makes driving with the right hand much easier. However, I wouldn't recommend that you keep the shuffle on the left hand side. Once your right hand is working okay, you should incorporate both hands to keep the shuffle going. It's very important to keep the shuffle centered. This will make it much easier for doing correction and tricks later on. 
Imagine a line running down the middle of your body. It should be between both your left and right hands. Also, try to keep your hands at the same height. It's quite common for Diabolists to run their shuffles either too far to the left or the right. If you have this problem, focus on moving both hands back to the middle while keeping the shuffle going. Having the shuffle in the wrong location will make it very hard to keep timing and do corrections and tricks. Keep your arms relaxed and bent at the elbow in a 90 degree angle. Your hand should be in position as if you're playing the piano. Watch how this Diabolist is using both his left and right hands with very minimal movement in his arms. His wrists and hands are doing most of the work with only very subtle movements and perfect timing. The best way to perfect your shuffle is to put dedicated time and practice into it. Keep focused on the positions of your hands, arms and body while you're doing the shuffle. Also filming yourself is an excellent way to find and correct flaws. If you put enough time into too low and use correct practice techniques mentioned in this tutorial, you will eventually master the shuffle. Keep persisting and let me know if you have any questions. Good luck!